I don't think this could get old, baby. Same old, same old, man. But like I said, could this get old? Not for up north, nigga. This can't get old. Not for me. I'm trying to chill in the shade. I got a little orangey, glow brown orangey. Look like a sunshine orange. <laughs> oh, I'm just fucking with it. Same old shit, man. Just lamping out here. About to get out of here in a few. Soon it'll be just a just a memory. But you know, while it's here, it's here. We always enjoy the great moments. You know what I'm saying? YOLO, you only live once. Nigga wish our nigga had the bag. It's like you say. So they say, bosses, you fat. Get the bag, that nigga was rolling up. Get fat, we out in Miami. Not in Miami, but I'm in the Sunshine State, so ain't doing a thing. Listening to them vibes. My man's like, hey, what are you talking about? All these damn rigs. I'm about to make a move in a few. About to see what's up with the homie T, too. Um, yeah, man. I'll probably ship this off to the Grizzle and to my home. To my YouTubers. Two, two. See, I ain't like the rest of these. I go to front with the palm trees and my man's range right there. My homie's range. You know most niggas that took advantage and lean on the, on the cream range. My man's cream range over there. I'll get it next time. But we don't stunt like that. We just have fun like this. Nah, but I've been chilling for the most part. And then, like I said, then the stuff that's not full up here. No matter what. Even though sometimes I get loose and I'll be a damn fool. But, you know, it ain't always all about you. There's other people's privacy. And, you know, certain people don't supposed to be at certain places. And at certain times and stuff like that. So, you know, when somebody's nice to you, you definitely got to be nice to them. I mean, that's how I am. Probably why I get burnt a lot with, with life with motherfuckers. Because I'm a courteous person, you know. Like I say, you rub my back. I'm going to make sure that you're not going to get in any type of trouble. You know, you do the right thing by me. I'm going to make sure. So, you know. That's what we can say about that. But, you know, the good thing about these things, is, like I said, is this trip will be rounding up soon. Is hopefully I could do it again. Just to leave your state in your city sometimes, man, to get a nice breath of fresh air. You know what I'm saying? It's just dope. You know what I'm saying? No matter if you don't do, like, of course, I couldn't come out here and go to, well, I think SeaWorld was open, but. You know, I swore if I had a little shorty, a little, a little rug rat with me. But, you know, Disney's clothes, that's the same type of thing. But the point is, like, just to leave your environment sometimes, it's just a healthy thing, you know what I'm saying? Taking a little stroll and then just not being where you normally be at. You know what I'm saying? It's just good for your mental to see strangers. And the funny thing about these strangers is everywhere I go, I always see people. That's one thing, even us, we say white people and shit, but black people, Spanish people, we're all one of the same. Because damn near every, every other motherfucker that I see, it look like some motherfucker that I swear I know from Boston. So, <laughs> it ain't just white people and the Simpson characters that look alike. We do look alike. You know, because it was best. It should just be smaller than my room. But, yeah, like I told you, these people, I don't know how they can afford to do it. Or if it's better, maybe the city helps it out. I got to ask my girl, Tell, because she, she stayed in these neck of the woods, so she knows. But like, I just been noticing, like, a lot of people really just really stay here. There's a few people 
you know, just on vacation and people doing their thing. But a few people up in here, like, really just straight stay here. That's crazy. Well, not really, but you wouldn't expect that. For us to be a low budget place, man, it is dope. These people can you can bring your kids and maybe not because of this COVID bullshit. But they can go swim and not be as bored as most little spotty motels and shit. If you had some kids, it wouldn't be nothing for your child to do. But it's a few things over here. These motherfuckers definitely can get into some. Like what I would have did as a kid, it was enough of them they could play football or something over right in this back. But yeah, man, nowadays, like when I know to be home, walk with me as I go to the store, a little stroll, I'm trying to see where this little dam, this little creek, or oh, it's a field, this park in the field over there. I think I'll be able to see all through that because that wall is, this wall is over here. I'm always adventurous since a kid, adventure, nosy motherfucker. With this wall is basically built for exactly what I'm on right now, trying to see what's on the other side. But it's not really built for you to pay attention to it. <laughs> Got the cat running from me. Hey, Mars, I ain't thinking about you, Mars. If anything, you got about seven more lives anyway. That nigga went straight through there like, nigga, I want to see your fat ass get between here. Come chase me behind here, fat boy. <laughs> but y'all probably couldn't see it. Morris ran, but damn, you see that snake? I oh, got, <laughs> fuck Morris. <laughs> That's the end of that. <laughs> this nigga was scared of me. I only seen a goddamn snake slither through there. <laughs> I don't even know how the camera jerked them. Y'all got to see that. I got my ass up out of it in. I seen that fucking... That goddamn snake slide through that motherfucker. Yeah, that's one thing that I just said. It. <laughs> I don't know if nigga got to get used to being out here. Because you going to see some animals and some... Shit <laughs> that you ain't used to seeing. For real. That was the last thing I expected to fucking see. I was not expecting to see no motherfucking snake, nigga. I see snakes all the time, but not like that. I usually see him come in a different form. That was a real motherfucking snake. Shit. You see those geckos all the time. <laughs> Geico, Geico. Mm hmm. Awesome. Yeah, I was about to come up here for a second, go get some ice, chill out. Hope I can get this. So I get this phone call. Hold on. Yeah, back to it right quick just to wrap this up. Thank y'all for walking with me and um see what's going on. Just gonna go give me a little ice. Give me a little ice. Sit back for a second. Look at the tool. Then head out. Hopefully I can get something to be a little piece of time. Should be interesting to y'all to see. Or something I'll put in the phone and figure out what to do with it later to give y'all
nice and just thing when it came with some bottled water, some aqua, buddy. Just a busy body. We just trying to get out of here. It's what, almost two o'clock. It's probably on the like I mean, it is two. He's probably on the like four, three thirty. He's trying to wrap up his day and tell how he's on the mission. It's quality time, don't bother me. Yeah, man. I'm gonna get one people's and in a second or later on, man. Hopefully I'll be chilling with the homie. Or you I'll just be chilling dolo and show y'all something by the time I get home in a couple of days. Peace.